All right, guys, this is the pirate table. Check this out. So to get inside the pirate table, we've got hidden door there. You click it in. There's a key in here. Pull the key out. Take the key. Put it in there. Turn. Open. So inside of here, you have this is the first box. The captain's box. So inside of the captain's box, we have. Scrolls. A telescope. <laughs> they're supposed to be maps, but there's nothing on them. <laughs> but you got a telescope, it actually works, so that's pretty cool. Wow. You got a little ship in a bottle. You recognize that ship? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I actually built that and shoved it in there with tweezers. Yeah. That's how you do it. First you build the ship, put it in there, and then you build each sail, put it in there, and stand it up with tweezers. That's how you do it, by the way. <laughs> that's crazy. Um... Yeah, there's nothing on these, but I did watch, look at this. So I made these with magnets in them, so they'll stay like that, or stay like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. You I don't know. Get them in and out of there. Yeah. Anyways, some rings. I made these out of little pieces of wood. I'll just make them dinky little things. I had a seashell that I carved into that. Oh, wow. Sweet, huh? There you go, tail. Oh, and then this coin I bought in Spain. Look at that. Oh. 1868. I don't know if there was pirates around in 1868, but I like to think there was. Oh yeah. So maybe that was a pirate coin at some time. Possibly. Probably. Anyways. Those are made out of quarter sawn white oak and black walnut, and then I just stained it with black ebony, and then I wood burnt that in there and put resin over it. That's so cool. Yeah. So I wrote a book, and this is one of the characters in the book. Just so you know, it's a badass book. It's an awesome mermaid. Yeah, I wrote a mermaid book. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a nerd. Mermaid nerd. Oh, you know what? Let's take that out. Boop. Take that out. Let's see. Are we going this way? This way. Yeah. And then, because this is the ultimate game room table, I built a dice tower. And my buddy was telling me, you need to make it so the dice can't just shoot across the room. So I made it with this. And that makes it when the dice drop in there, they land like right here. And then you can't tip that over, which is sort of fun because it's got like really heavy weights in there. I want to have my little brand in the bottom. Boop. So yeah, that, uh, I'll just leave that right there. Let's see. Ah, the sword. Whoa. So this is a Civil War sword. You see right here? Can you zoom in on that? The blade itself is a civil war. But oh, wow. I had to make the handle and the little shield, and then I got a old, oh, cool. actually it was a little irrigation fitting that I carved into, <laughs> <laughs> I carved into a whale tail. But, and then I just clinked it all together. That's black walnut. Oh, wow. I had that cut in the middle, caked it around the handle, glued it, and then shaped it. I and believe then, the sword fits in there, oh. that's crazy. That's a legit civil war sword. Our blade has been through battle and everything. Wow. It's all like pocked and everything. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Can you see that? Yeah. And then that said. Oh, cool. Yep, there yeah, it is. That's pretty awesome. I found that in the antique store. Put it together. Just stab the back of the box there. It's cool. <laughs> oh, put that in there. Oh, yeah. I'm not going with that sort of Oh, yeah. Take him back out. Yes. Top this table is going to be so busy by the time we're done. And then, I don't know if you guys see the Pirates of the Caribbean. The whole top of this, when they call the Kraken, it has a big octagon thing. They turn and pegs come in and out. And I was like, ah, oh, I got to do that. So that's where I got that. Are they going to turn it out? The way I built that is I got the, so you can get the ball bearing set that goes inside of a Lazy Susan. Mm -hmm. And I put it in the center of that. And then this is two parts, the one set on top of the other part. Wow. Anyways, a lot of people always ask how I got it to turn. That's how I did it. And then this is the gamer box. So it's got a bunch of cool stuff. You can put, so this has magnets embedded in these shelves. So your little game pieces, you can have them set there and they click in. Oh, wow. Um, I just built a bunch of little knickknacks to, you know. This is made for like pens. You can put pens in there. Did the same magnetic trick, so you can put the pen there. And it holds it in. Holds it in, and then it magnets to the spot. You got your different dice sections. 
boom, boom, boom. You can put, you know, if you need, a lot of people have sets of like 10 dice or whatever, but here's this, I'll show you that. So that it pops it out oh. so it doesn't shoot across the table. Yeah. It just plops and then it. the big heavy dice are cool. They're like all copper. Oh, wow. That's sort of fun. Heavy big old beauty. copper ones. But, uh, we're gonna need this key. This key goes right here. So look in here, there's another hidden compartment above that hidden compartment. Well, I don't know if that's considered a hidden compartment. Look right here. See that little lever? Oh, Pull yeah. that lever. That pops down. <laughs> We've got music box. So I invented that crest. Again, goes with the book I wrote. It's freaking awesome. So cool. That turns, this goes in here. You unlock it. And that is a music box slash whatever you want to hide in their box. Oh, wow. So. Uh, oh, there's more in here, sorry. Right here. So, because people love chess, got the chess pieces. These are carved out of ox bone. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're so intricate. I love yeah, it. Yeah, they are. I still need to stain this little spot right here. Is that your little crest in there too? Yeah, a little crest. That's so cool. The trident and pirate sword. Yeah, it's wow. All right. Um. Oh, and then the top. Let's look at the top. So, on the top, I got. So this is like battle boats. You got both sides. I'll turn it around here in a second. And you, I've got just little hand carved ones, but you got the instead of pegs, you've got uh, cannonballs, and they stick. I've got magnets in each one of those spots, so you can stick them. Boop. See where you fire and whatnot. So that's fun. That's and then so that's cool. all the cannonballs down there. Oh, and then I've got a blue resin down there that looks like the ocean. Looks like water. Yeah. Ooh. And then. So it's the British against the, <laughs> the pirates. Again, ocean. Oh, it's all it totally does look like the ocean. Yeah. Oh, and then. Let's see. So inside of the centerpiece, we got. You see the chessboard? That flips up. And then I've got a little actual treasure map. That's of an actual island that has treasure on it, allegedly. Allegedly. And then inside of here, you've got a pistol. So that's actually a real pistol, and I just put the caps, which make a huge sound, even without the powder and the bullet and whatnot. But I mean, it's legit. I build it out of a kit. Um, so yeah, it's pretty fun. It was actually a lot of fun to build that kit too. It so. looks so cool. Yeah. And then inside of here, I got shackles. Found these at the antique store as well. I'm sure they're not actually old, but they are the old design, so they match. They look they're real. They're pirate. They had to go in there, so. <laughs> and then what's, oh, we got one more thing. So being an ultimate game room table, I had to have a poker. Oh my a poker, so you got all your chips, you got your, your dice, you got your cards. You've got your dealer chips, your small blind, big blind. And then when it's somebody else's turn, you can turn it. Somebody pointed out that chips would turn with it. So I don't know. That's perfect. Either way, it works. So yeah, that's, uh, I think that's it. Yep. So that is it.
<laughs> I can't believe all this stuff hidden in here. Push them in there. Push them in there. 